Hi everybody, Laura McGuire here, Creative Memories Advisor from Cranston, Rhode Island. And um, this morning I was thinking I really should go to the Creative Memories blog and get some ideas so I, for, for this uh, video today. But then my husband got home from the dentist and the... Um, dental assistant had just gotten back from Guatemala and brought my husband and I masks from Guatemala. And I looked at this one and I want to ask you a question. Where do you get your inspiration? I looked at this and thought that would make a really cute scrapbooking border. But I know I can't copy it exact. But I kind of looked at it and tried to do something. And it probably looks nothing like this except for some of the shapes. Because there's a lot of overlapping. And if I did that on a border, it would look really scrunchy and compromise the shape. So I'll show you what I did. And I'll show you how I did it. I got the shapes. And I... It took me a while to figure out how, you know, what measurements and all that and how to do it. And I'm going to show you how. And then um, you can see, I mean, this isn't perfect. This is, this was my first try. I mean, this is, you know, the spacing is not perfect. But you know what? I don't care. I'd use it anyway because I think it looked really nice on a page. So let me show you how I made those diamond shapes and give you some measurements. I think I'm gonna put, yeah. Now this, I'm, remember the card I did? I'm cutting these out for a card class, so I'm gonna do. It's stuck to the trimmer. Okay, I started out with uh, cutting, cutting my little rectangles at two inches by two and a half. And then what I did was mark the center. And I'm, use, I'm doing them in stacks. And I'm using both sides. So I'm marking the wrong side of this. And I, I've used my, my uh, cutting mat. And I just put it in the corner. And I know, because I, you know, because this is where, and, you know, on the edges there the center doesn't down here because they're small doesn't have the um, quarter inch and stuff that like that so I want to mark the centers so I'm marking this one this is the two inch side so I'm marking that at one inch and and the two and a half inch side which is here and I'm losing, I'm losing the, uh, it doesn't probably really matter. Okay, I want to mark it at one and a quarter because it's two and a half inches. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So then I took the stack and I, and I, I'll mark all of them. Actually, I'll do that now. And this is what I came up with. I came up with that. These will be for fill-ins. But I'm going to cut them anyways. So at one inch and one inch and one and a quarter and right across. And you need about, I don't know, 10 or so. So that's why it's good to stack them and not have to not have to mark it, every one of them individually. So there's three I marked, and let's just do one more stack. And yeah, these are these are back to back. I think I won't need all of them that I prepared. One inch and one and a quarter. Okay, so I have four stacks. I just realized I didn't cut a border. 
The border I cut, I believe I cut a three inch border. So maybe, maybe I'll use this. I don't know. I like to have a lot of contrast. That might be okay on that side. So I'll cut a three inch border. What I did with the first one, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find designer paper that really contrasted well with the with the paper that I chose. So I don't know how this is going to be. Okay, so what I want to do is put, I'm going to cut from here to here, from this marking to this marking. And I'm cutting through the stack that I have here. I'm putting I'm putting the tip of my marks on the cutting line. It's not quite a 45 degree angle. I'm going a couple of times because there's several layers. And I'm I'm going to save I I did save those for fill-ins, but it my fill-ins they didn't work out. So I don't know how this is going to work out this time. But we'll see. So I'm cutting that one. It looks like I didn't I didn't have it quite on. Okay. And then you can always if if it's not quite on the tip, you can use a scissors to sharpen it. To sharpen the edge. But let's see. Three and one more. So um, I had a card class last night, and I, I it was a Christmas card class. We Creative Memories Christmas cards this year are out, and I get them and send them out every year. So I'll. I'll buy probably maybe four or five boxes for myself. But I had four people come last night. It was a great, it was a great night. So rather than cut them all, let's see how these work out. And then we can cut more as we need them. So I'm putting putting the, the background paper on here. And I don't want to use this side. So I'm going to flip that over and use that side. And um, I, all I did, I started at the top and on the edge. And let's put some repo up and down here. And I can always put more after, but I don't want them to move, so... So let's do this. And and I just kind of, I didn't even think about design or anything. I was just kind of random about it. So when you, I mean, you can cut, see, I could have cut like a three and a half inch here. And that might have worked out better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three and a half inch border, that might have worked out better. Let's see. Let's put this this way. I do like the yellow in there. And I'm just leaving space, you know, a space. Now let's see what else do I have? Let's this isn't even cut, so I I don't have enough cut. Let's try this one. This was left over from my other border, so this will go. And then at the end I just want them straight. So I will have to cut more. So, so you can see, like when you ha you want to cut everything that you need ahead of time, and let's see, this won't be the finished border, but it'll be close. So when you're doing this, I don't want that one. You're gonna go all the way down, and then you're gonna have space here, and I'll show you what I did. So after, after they're all down, I took my scissors and I cut what was hanging off. Just 
just like that. And then um, you can see how much better it looks. And then you can fill in with your scraps or you can cut. In some instances, I needed bigger pieces like here. And so I just, I just used a full one that I had left over. So you might want to um, prepare maybe 15 or 20. Then I'm cutting this here. And this here. Now this this I think is coming out better than the other one. I should have I should have pre-cut everything. But that's essentially what you want to do is fill in all the spaces. And I I think if I did it as I went that way, I think um I think I would have gotten this space better. And uh and and so I think, you know, I think it's it's really good. Let me let me cut some more and I'll see if I can go any further down and see how that goes. I, the, these are the ones that are marked. So this is a bigger stack, I think. I don't know if it's a bigger stack. We'll try this one. Yeah, it's marked. So again, um, is it marked? It looks like it's only marked on one side. Oh, I didn't, I missed one. I just missed one. So it's at the one inch mark. So let's see. That's white. Okay. So now I'm putting those, those marks at my cutting line. And cutting. So today's my wedding anniversary. And we are going out for dinner tonight, so that's a good thing. It's a happy day here. I won't say how long I've been married. It's longer than you want to know. But it's a long time. We have grown children and grandchildren and And we're both retired, and we, our time is our own now. All right. And one more. Okay, so now I have these. Now I can fill in some more. And let's see, we don't have any light blue. I think, now see what I'm doing here. I want to get in the center. I want the same or close to the same on either side there. And then I'll go here. And put some tape runner there let's see yeah okay and I don't know if I have too much of the same here so I think I'm gonna cut one more stack I guess that was poor planning on my part <laughs> But I think the, the main gist that I wanted to um, impart to you is where do you get your inspiration? It could be anywhere. It could be from a magazine that's not even, it could be a magazine ad that's not even related to scrapbooking or card making. Your inspiration can come from anywhere. A Guatemalan mask, in my case, for today. It just kind of, you don't have to copy. It's like, like when you get a project recipe or a sketch. 
they serve as inspiration. You can copy it exactly, or you can look at it and say, I like that, but I think I'm going to do it this way. And it opens up it opens up doors and it opens up many avenues to creativity. Who'd have thought that I would get this idea for today's video from a mask? Which it seems like COVID is coming back, doesn't it? All right. So we got this here. So these seem to be in good line. And... Now, see how there's a small triangle there? Let's see. <coughs> see if I can find something. Something that'll go, that might fit. So these little, these little cast-offs, that's what I was doing. I was taking, I was taking the, um, the little pieces that that I cut off from here but they don't fit they don't you know they they don't give a straight they don't give the right amount of space there it's too much so I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to do it going to do it another way I think we'll have to see so now I have let's see we'll put this one here and what I'm doing is matching the corners, this one and this one. And another stripe. Looks like I got all blue coming down and all yellows on the side. Oh, well. <laughs> and then this one I'll put here. And let's put another one here. And then, how about this one here? And I still have spaces to fill in. And what I did on my other one was I just cut some more of those diamond shapes from a different, a whole different piece of paper that I hadn't used in the... Um, in the border itself and I I'll show you I'll show you in a second what I mean so I cut some more of those diamond shapes out of this paper and then just kind of fit the, the whole shape right in and that's how I got the nice um, the nice shape there. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to cut. Maybe maybe I have a piece that we haven't used. But I need more than one. Hmm. See when you're using scraps, you have to All right, I think I'll use this from the tie-dye. So you try different things. That's what you do. Two and a half. And two and a half. And you see what works. By two. And then I'm going to mark the centers. Back to my cutting mat, I do use, I do lean on my cutting mat quite a bit. So mark here and at one and here. That's what I forgot to do before. And then at one and a quarter and, and across. So we'll do a quick cut. Oh, I forgot that one. All right. And 
there's if you if you use if you have a custom cutting system they're having there's a special bundle that's on sale this week and I think this it ends on Friday so they they, they put these bundles they're, they're kind of short-lived so it, um there's a uh Wavy square, 12 by 12 inch, wavy square, which is which they had before. They've had that before. And then they have just the, the plain square, 12 by 12 inch, where you could, you could cut frames and all kinds of different things with that. All right, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> okay, so I'll explain how I did it. So, oh, that's got pink in it. Do I want that? Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll use the pink side. Maybe that'll... That just takes in... I think I want to use the blue side. So let's try that. I think it's better. So I'm just trying to get like a straight space in there. See how you can do this better than if it's already cut down. If the if the um, come on, how many did I have? This is crazy. Well, what I did was I I did cut. I thought I I thought I cut more than that of the of the uh, tie dye. And then you can cut this and see how the, we'll see how these fit. If not, I'll just go to my original one and yeah, this will fit. Nope, it won't. See how, see how once you cut it, it's not just right. Oh, I did have a couple more. Okay. So where's my original? So that's what I did. I took this piece and I cut the full triangle, the full uh, diamond shape, and fit them in where I needed them. So I'll need to cut an, um, maybe one more, one or two more for here and here. And then I can put, I bet this one will fit here. We'll put this over here. And that little tiny space. Better drain this way. And then, let's see. I bet this will fit in here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good there. If it's a tiny space like that, you can, you can get away with it. But if it's a big space, you really need a larger, a larger one, the full size, so it'll fit in. So that's that one and that one. And then all we need is one more for over here, and that's, that's the one I forgot. Let's see. I'll, I'll just finish this up. Typical me. All right. And we'll finish that border up. And then um, for, I felt I needed something more than just, just those uh, diamond shapes. And so that's, oh, you know what? I'm doing this on the wrong slide. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's not going to get finished unless we put an embellishment over those marks. I think what I'll do instead is just kind of cut them off. They're probably not even going to make a difference. Cut the marks off. what happens when you don't think before acting and I'll cut that one off 
All right, let's see how this goes. I'll put some repo and repo. So we got this, which is perfect. And we'll turn it around and cut it. See if I if I knew it was pink on the other side, I would have maybe tried to find something different. What I'm doing is just using scraps to make these things, you know, to make borders like this. I mean, I say use what you have. There. I did finish it for you right in front of you and that's how I did it and you know you can go back and add tape if you want or oh look I put that but yeah an embellishment can go over that so I did have an embellishment pack somewhere yep. what I used here I went I had uh, lots of love and It's not like it went with anything, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a journal box right there, and I'm going to use, and that doesn't even show. I'm going to use some foam squares. I'm going to pop it up. I do like this border. I think that... Um, there's enough contrast between, I do want to cover up the, that particular, see if I can get this right. There you go. There's the border completed. So this is kind of low, so you can put a cluster up here to balance it off, or you can leave it like that. Because I, I think it looks really good. I mean, it, re it reminds me of a mosaic. It reminds me of, uh, makes me think of mosaic or argyle or, you know, something like that. But all that inspiration came from the mask our dental assistant brought from Guatemala. I hope you like that. I know it was a little discombobulated. I've been pretty busy. I had a card class last night. I'm, I have a crop this Friday I have to get ready for. And uh, I have a team meeting here at my home on um, Monday night. So it, it's been really, really busy. So thanks for watching. And be sure to press the like button and share this with your friends because most of the time I can come up with something real good. Thanks for watching and I'll see